disclaimer you guys um before i start this video i just want everyone to know that part two of my spring break trip was actually put to a halt due to covid19 as you guys will see i will be spending the first few clips in mexico finishing up my spring break trip and then as the video continues to play there will be a clip of me explaining what happened while i was on my cruise and the reason why we had to leave the cruise so i just want you guys to understand why the vlog is so short and why my spring break trip had to become put to a whole well cancel actually and i still hope that you guys enjoy and if you guys are new please subscribe to my channel and like this video good morning you guys it is day three. Oh, actually friday saturday sunday it's day four um, I didn't vlog yesterday only because we was on a boat all day and then we didn't really do anything. I was asleep, literally slept. I was asleep literally 75% of the time. So there wasn't really much to show. But today we are docking in Costa Maya. Yeah, Costa Maya, Mexico. We have 15 minutes. So um, we actually woke up a little late. We came to eat breakfast. We're supposed to do a boat tour and um, go snorkeling. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. We always sleep in late. Always. But that's okay. I think today's gonna be a really good day. And really fun day. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Ooh, this is what I got on today as well. My one piece. Yes. So we just came to get a quick bite, you guys. We are here, like if you guys can see, it's over there. But we're about to get off soon. We're so close to the water, like, oh my god. We're literally so Green shirt? Yeah, I think so. They was just trying to get you out of the Right. Yeah. Lorenzo almost got finessed a couple he, times. He, he was like, this, he's like one person free, then 49, yeah, nine, like. nine for the rest. You get Wi Fi, you get them. <laughs> so, guys, ooh, we just came back from scuba diving. It wasn't even smart to scuba diving. I got some clips. Ooh, it's, my, my lips taste like salt. Yo, let me tell you, I, I don't know how to swim, so like, that was my first time actually in a deep and it was really really scary like it was really scary but um yeah i got some clips of us i couldn't put no clips of us actually scuba diving because my phone wasn't waterproof but it was really fun 
ish. I was hyperventilating. So I tried. But we're about to try to find something to eat. The, the legal age is 18, so we can drink out here. Hey. Hey. Where's my other thing? I need a new one. Um, can you get it? <laughs> hello, hello. So we just finished We just finished eating. Somebody did not like her food. This is what it's damn dip. <laughs> I'm supposed to have octopus, octopus, scallops, I don't know what the fuck. I'm a little sissy, honestly. I'm saying we're going to join today. Mariah's still got all of that left. <laughs> Where is the sound of the people from the carnival machine? Y'all, my bad. Uh, maybe I got either from the We got about like, what time is it? Once again, I say, we got like an hour and a half. Where is the people from the carnival shape? I don't know what you're going to do. Very deep. OK, ladies and gentlemen, my hair is going to be. This is our second place. I'm going to walk around until it's time to leave, though. OK. Latina, Latina, we love you. Today is like day five, I believe. And uh, just let me tell y'all updates. So, you know, you guys know that I blacked out yesterday while in Mexico. It was so embarrassing, but that's fine. I'm not gonna even get into that. Um, then yesterday I was just so irritated because we got news. You guys know I am from Cleveland, Ohio, and my county is called Cuyahoga County. And, um, you know, around this time right now, it's the coronavirus. And I get, they're just taking it to the extreme. Just of us not getting caught and stuff like that. And comes to find out, three cases have been um, confirmed in Cuyahoga County in Cleveland, where I'm from. So, you know, Ohio State, we're all, it's all, all Ohio. So, um, going to a university, they take extra precautions just in case. You know, just to keep students safe, keep the students safe. And I, there's a lot of international students at Ohio State. So, um, come to find out, yesterday, we literally, after, no, before dinner, we had a meeting. We already knew what the meeting was going to be about. Well, I kind of knew because that, my girlfriend sent me the um, Twitter about it being three confirmed cases in Cuyahoga County. So, we literally got like 30 minutes to um, see if we wanted to stay. Ohio State um, called our advisor to give us an option to either stay here and have a possibility of being quarantined on Friday when we come back from our cruise or leave now and go home. We'll, yesterday, we'll leave today and go home. So, um, so, um, I was just kind of irritated because, like, we're on a three break cruise. And of course, not nobody want to leave. So like the perks was we get our six hundred fifty dollar refund back. Whatever. I really didn't care about the money. I really cared about the experience. I've never been out the country, nor have I ever been on a cruise. But being in Tampa was fun, and being in Mexico was really fun. So I guess. But it was like we had three more 
um, places to be and to go. Like, spring break just started Monday. Today's Monday is our actual spring break. So I was kind of irritated. And um, we all just had a choice. People moved to the side. And, of course, people was going to um, where their friends was going. Because, like, they didn't want to be here. Like, if only, like, five people stayed. It wouldn't be as fun because, you know, we all came as a group. So we all made the experience great. So we are currently, we packed our bags today. And we're about to, um, I guess, have a meeting because we have to get, like Ohio State had to book our plane tickets and everything. So we are about to have a meeting and see when we leave for our plane or whatever. And our next stop is Belize. So like I'm kind of bummed out about that because I really wanted to stay on a trip. Like who just wants to leave? And also um, Ohio State sent out an email saying that there will be no in-person classes until March 30th, you guys. Let me tell you. Classes officially in March, April 17th. And then we have two weeks of finals. So it is March 10th. So we basically have three high. Good morning. We basically have three weeks um, until that. Oh, vlogging? yeah, I'm vlogging. Hi. I'm telling them about the situation, guys. Oh, so we basically, you, you guys know it's confirmed that we don't have in-person classes until March 30th, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah, we don't have in-person classes until March 30th. So that's basically um three weeks until we, once we get back. And um, I will be going home. Yeah, I'm not staying at Ohio State because they're about to take extra precautions and stuff. And I just don't have time for that. So I'm just going to go home and do work, whatever work I'll have online. So I'm just, like, really bummed out, you guys. I don't understand how irritated I am. I mean, the refund, yeah, that sounds nice. But, like, I'm not coming back to Mexico until probably I'm 21 or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Just really kind of upset about it. But I'm not going to dwell too much about it. So I'm going to get back. I'll get I'll update you guys later. So you guys, I told you all I was gonna give you an update. So update, we got our plane tickets. We are getting split up into two groups. Me and someone get split up, unfortunately. She's getting on the plane ride with um, one of our advisors, Kamala, and they're gonna have a layover and Atlanta and then we're going my group are going to have a layover in Houston and we have two different flights so that's a bummer which is this is weird but anywho three of us um traveled with our birth certificate and come to find out it's all up to Houston call if we are going to be able to get on the flight because we don't have an actual passport and if we can't get on the flight, then we're going to have to stay in Houston in a five-star hotel, which is fine. We get to explore Houston until the next day. We're going to go to the embassy. I really don't know what we're going to do in the embassy. I don't know if they're going to give us, you know, OSU is going to pay for our plane ticket. I mean, not plane ticket, our passport. I really don't know, but we're going to see. Um, I'm just really bummed out. Like, we really cannot, couldn't have enjoyed our spring break, but y'all. It's nice out here, though. So. Major preferences before you travel. Make sure you actually want to go, and make sure you know all the risks before you do everything. You exactly. Know. Cause we knew about the corona. We already knew, so we could have stayed, but you know. Everybody's different. Exactly. It's cool though. Spring break 2021. <laughs> we got. <it>. For real. <laughs> I thought spring break 2020 was gonna be late. It's Miami, our first spring. Out. Right though, cause yeah, I'm coming to Miami next year. We thought that it was gonna be nice. We got on a cruise, we're going to different countries, we're about to live our life. Did you show them this? Heck, you no, know, no. The view. Um, I'm about to put another clip. We're like in Belize already. The water is so blue. So you guys, we are um, on a yacht. Unfortunately, us three, we had our um, breakfast in the so we have to go get a passport to be able to get on the airplane. Back home. So everyone left, that sucks. Thank you. So yeah, we're on our way to police to get our, well to Embassy Suites to get our passport. So that we can try to catch the flight with everybody else. But if not, then we're gonna stay here in Belize.
about the way. Thank you. So guys, we are packing up. We're about to leave. Um, we are currently in Belize, and our flight is at 11:50, I believe. And it's about to be 8:45. Is when we have to go downstairs, so we can just make sure we all check in and not miss our flight, and just to be safe. So um, once we leave here, we're gonna be flying into Texas, Houston, Texas, and our layover there is four hours. So we're gonna be able to eat and stuff and just chill before our flight back to Columbus. And then we'll be heading to Columbus, and we should be there uh, around 11, 11:30 p.m. Don't know the exact times, but 